Hi, I'm Stephen the Pet Man, bringing you the truth in pet food. So, what I have here is this smaller brand called Holistic Health Extension. This particular one is it's actually made by Vets Choice. Um, the ingredients in this are interesting. They detail this out for teacup, toy, and miniature dogs. I guess because the particular bite size is really tiny, but I don't know what else about this particular ingredient list makes it specifically for teacup, toy, and miniature dogs. But I like that they really don't have like no glutens, no corn, no soy, no wheat, no BHA, no added sugars, no artificial flavors, no, no artificial colors, which a lot of the manufacturers put in, which I hate. Um, let's go right to the ingredient list because there's a bunch of good stuff in here and there's a few things I don't care for, but overall I, I do like this. I'll tell you right off the bat, I do like this. The uh, organic deboned chicken. Wow, the number one ingredient is deboned chicken, but it's organic too. That's super premium because we don't see a lot of brands actually having organic chicken as the first ingredient. The next is chicken meal. I don't have a problem with that. That's just basically the water taken out of the, the chicken, and that could be up to 300% more protein than just chicken in itself, which has a lot of water. Ground brown rice, again, not a bad thing. That's going to provide some energy to your dog, and it's a carbohydrate, but it's a slow-burning carbohydrate. Chicken fat is just, um, it's a preservative, and um, it also adds moisture to this formulation. Again, not a bad thing. Lamb meal, we're being told what the animal product is. It is a meal, but we know it's lamb. It's not just like animal meal or, um, you know, where they just say fish meal. Again, they're detailing exactly what they're providing you with. Again, there's a fish meal in here, but it is a Manhattan fish meal. So again, we know the type of fish that they're putting in. They've got flaxseed in here. I've said it before, flaxseed is questionable because if it's ground up and it can be digested, it's great. If it's not ground up, the digestive um, capacity is greatly reduced. Let's say it like that. Uh, there's some unusual things in here. The dried beet pulp there's some debate about that, but again, it helps the animal eat it. It's, it, it, it is a form of sugar, but I'm not against this. Uh, the dried uh, brewer's yeast, some controversy there too as to um, how much it will help dogs. But again, I don't have a prob problem with it. We're getting further down in the, in the list. Here's where I do have a product. They do have the ingredient egg product. Egg product doesn't mean whole eggs. It means that it literally could be the egg that falls onto the floor in the, uh, in the farms. And it doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means you have to trust this, this brand that it's not the crap egg product, that it's an okay egg product. What I like here, organic apple cider vinegar. Organic apple cider vinegar, I mean, I drink that every day. The, the next thing is ginger. Another great product that I eat every day. So I like that apple cider vinegar and ginger is in here because those are things that you don't often see in, in, in dog formulations, but they both have uh, components to those ingredients which are very healthy. Overall, I mean, rest of that is just vitamins. Overall, I really like this product. I, I, I don't like that they just have teacup, toy, and miniature dogs. I guess they did that for the bites uh, size, but really this could work with larger dogs than just miniature dogs. It's a good formulation. I'm going to put it into my good category and would recommend this brand. I'm Steven the Pet Man, and I thank you for watching.